Hello. Welcome to Figure CNC 8055 MC Profile Editor Lesson Number 2, Part Planning and Calculator Features. As you can see, I've already opened the Profile Editor screen. The very first thing that we want to do is we want to press the F1 key for Edit. And, of course, we're going to choose Profile. And the very first thing it asks us for is the initial point. This is a point somewhere on the profile where cutting begins. And this requires some part planning on our behalf. So let us look at a few blueprints so that we can look at some strategies for part planning a initial starting point because you're going to have to calculate this before you start entering any data into the profile editor. In this blueprint example, we have an outside profile and we have four corner features. We have one, two, three radius and one chamfer. That's going to require us to not start on a corner but start let's say at this point right here. So if this were the case we would go ahead and we would start at um, half of seven inches which would be X 3.5 and Y 0 would be our initial starting point. And then once we calculate our initial starting point we're also going to have to calculate our cutting direction. So in this case if we wanted to go in the climb milling direction we would want to go clockwise around the part. So our initial starting point would be here and then we would move in a clockwise direction around the outside of the part. Let's look at another part example. Here we have a diamond shape with four corner radiuses and we have to calculate a starting point somewhere on here and from the blueprint information there's not enough information there's no points plotted anywhere around the outside perimeter. Easily we can calculate this we can say okay if we wanted to start at the top here we could say okay that's x0 and if we wanted to calculate the y distance it would simply be just half of 3.6186 and uh, I'll be showing you the calculator feature in a few minutes which makes uh, this calculation very easy in the profile editor. Let's look at another part example. Here we have uh, a couple of radiuses uh, with a tangent line and also a tangent arc to those radiuses. Uh, and again from the blueprint there is only center points of the arcs uh, and the known radiuses but there is no outside information for plotting a point on this profile. So what we would want to do is let's say start, if this, again if this is an outside profile we'd want to start right here at this point. And again, this is very easy because we already know the center of the arc, uh, and we already know the Y center of the arc, and we know the radius. We can just simply um, add or subtract this va radius value from this number to give us our center point. And so we would plot our point here. And again, once we calculate that point, we would want to uh, choose our cutting direction. If we were cutting around the outside of the part, it'll be clockwise. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's take a uh, quick look at actually entering in the Cartesian points using the calculator feature. And again, we'll use this part example. So the first point we want to enter in is 4.5058. and we'll press enter to save the value. So now we need to calculate our Y starting point. So again from our blueprint we know that it's 6.5677 and we have a one inch radius. Let's use the calculator feature to calculate this starting point. From your 
keyboard on your CNC, simply pressing the plus or the minus key, or multiply or divide, we can make simple calculator features in the profile editor. Let's press the plus key now. And let's add one inch to this value. And let's press the enter key. You can see that the value was automatically calculated. Here is our plotted center point shown in purple color here. To save the value, once we agree with the values, we simply press validate. This concludes lesson number two.